Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem chocolate distribution. So let's read the problem statement first. So step at n chocolates and that is a greater than 4. And we decided to distribute distribute them into four jars, sorry, three jars. And the condition is that at least one jar has or number of chocolates, exactly two jars have same number of chocolates and every jar has at least one chocolate okay so basically what it means like every jar should have one chocolate at least and one jar should have odd number and two jars have same chocolate so let's see test case to understand better let's suppose we have four so how can we distribute them let's suppose first we give uh, we need one odd so we can give one jar or number of chocolates and we need one same so we can give same number of chocolates another jar and how many is remaining two so we can distribute like this this is one solution okay and let's suppose if we consider case of n equal to seven so for n equal to seven how can we uh, solve this problem so we need one odd number of chocolates so we can either what have uh, what we have option option we have either we can give one chocolate okay or we can give three chocolates to another container and three chocolates to another container so these two containers have the same number of chocolates and so and another condition is that one container should have at least uh, odd number of chocolates so all three have odd number of chocolates so condition is satisfied here and another solution for this problem can be like first jar two chocolates second jar also two chocolates and this condition makes same two containers have same number of chocolates and how many remaining three and three is satisfying odd condition so this is also one solution another solution can be like we have given one chocolate to first container and second container also one chocolate so this, this is odd one condition is satisfied same second condition satisfied and then remaining five third condition satisfied like every jar has chocolates let's suppose let's con uh, consider example number three So we have 11 here. So how can we distribute? We can distribute like uh, we can give first jar four chocolates, another jar four chocolates, and third jar three chocolates. So every jar has chocolates, and these two have same chocolates, and this one has odd chocolates. So all three conditions are satisfied with this. So and what can uh, what is the other possible solution? Other possible solution you can think of like we can give two chocolate, two chocolates, and then seven chocolates. Okay, so this is satisfying odd, and these two are same, and every jar has chocolates. What else can be the solution for this? Other can be the solution for this problem is we can have uh, five chocolates. Five and then one. This can also be the solution. Like these two same. One condition satisfied. Odd. Another condition satisfied. All three are chocolates. Third condition is satisfied. All three conditions are satisfied. So how can you solve this problem mainly? For solving this problem, what you can do simply just just to assign chocolate one. To first container, this will satisfy odd number of candies, uh, odd chocolate. So first condition is satisfied. If you assign another container one chocolate, then odd number of chocolates satisfied. Two containers have same chocolate, same number of chocolate. This is also satisfied. And the last container you can give n minus these two, one and two. Okay, this. 
So all three containers have certain number of properties because n is greater than equal to four, so it will be greater than zero only, always. So all three conditions are satisfied. So your answer can be uh, one, one, n minus two, or you can return one n minus two, n minus two, then one, or you can return n minus two. One, one. All are solutions. Okay. Hope you understand the solution. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. And keep coding.